Good morning everyone. It is Thursday the 9th of December and this morning we're going to be reading from Luke chapter 1, uh, the part of the story in Luke which is called Mary's Song of Praise. So this is Luke 1 verses 46 down to 56. Let's hear God's word. Mary responded, O oh, how my soul praises the Lord, how my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. For he took notice of his lowly servant girl, and from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the mighty one is holy, and he has done great things for me. He shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. His mighty arm has done tremendous things. He has scattered the proud and haughty ones. He has brought down princes from their thrones and exalted the humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away with empty hands. He has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. For he made a promise to your ancestors, ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary stayed with Elizabeth about three months and then went back home to her own home. Amen. We ask God to bless the reading of his word. This comes at the end of Mary meeting up with her cousin Elizabeth. Both of them are now carrying babies. Both of them are overjoyed with what is going to happen. And Mary just wants to thank God, just wants to praise him for what he is doing. And in it, she says in verse 50, he shows mercy from generation to generation to all who fear him. God had made a promise all those years ago about what he would do and now that promise is being fulfilled and it talks about how he looks after those who are in need those who can't look after themselves it talks about how he has brought down princes so it talks about how god is, god wants to correct the world's view about him and correct the world's view on how we should look after one another there's so much in this little piece of praise that Mary says. Um, she's only a young girl and yet there's a very wise head on her shoulders. Talks about he has helped his servant Israel and remembered to be merciful. He has made promises to our ancestors to Abraham and his children forever. These promises are not temporary. These promises are not just for um, Israel as in the, the 12 tribes, but as in the whole of God's people, all who will follow him. These are wonderful promises, promises that we can rely upon, promises that we can trust. And that's what God's word is. It's, it's a huge promise to us that he is always with us and what he will do for us each and every day. So today, whatever you have lying ahead of you today, whatever sort of day it is, and for many, maybe it'll be a good day. For a lot of people, maybe it'll be a challenging day and a difficult day. But know that in all of it, that God is always with you. And he has given you those promises that he will be with you. And he has given the promise of the son who will be born soon to be our saviour. Let's pause and let's pray. Father, thank you again for this morning. Thank you for how Mary, as that young girl, praised you realising how blessed she was that you had chosen her, how blessed she was to see your promises starting to be fulfilled, how blessed we are as a people because we have you as our God. Father, today may we feel blessed in the midst of whatever is going on, may we just simply trust you. Father, go with us this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Thanks, folks, for watching in this morning. And I do trust that today you will know God's peace and blessing. Take care. See you again tomorrow. Bye.